Hey guys, this is Jill from Flourishing Finishes. I'm really excited today. I'm not sure if you've been online on my website to check out the online exclusives that Stamping Up has to offer, but that is what we are gonna be using today um, to make this super cute card. So one of the very first-ish online exclusives was this wonderful tropical leaf and tropical punch. Um, I'm not sure if it's still available or not. Things come and go. You definitely just have to check that regularly. Um, so if you have not done it recently or at all, you definitely want to check it out. So let's take a closer um, look at the card. I have a piece of hair. You know how it touches you and you can't find it. It's so frustrating. Okay, so this super cute card. This is just a fun, simple one that I felt could be very neutral to any age, any gender, anything that you needed it for. Um, if you did not want thanks so much, they do have a lot of other options as well. I was looking for something super cute, semi-simple, something you can even do this is really good as a kind of a beginner card i've done it with several people who have never stamped before and it was pretty fun so let's dive in i am using if you can see can those all come up on the camera pecan pie granny apple green lemon lime twist and old olive i wanted to really feature a lot of different shades of green because let's be real what other color are you going to use with leaves i mean green so i also didn't want to have to stamp on and off with the same stamp if we were doing it with a group of people so i wanted to have different shades that you could kind of like stamp and move on so that's where all this came into play um the pecan pie in my opinion works perfectly to give you a soft darker center of leaves without it being too too dark um dark like early espresso in my opinion is really good for leaves in the fall but definitely a tropical leaf um i do like the pecan pie so i went ahead and used lemon lime twist as my base i then used um old olive and cut it five and a fourth to four um and then I have a white piece that was five by three and three fourth. And then I have a white piece for the center. I do have scraps for the punch. So that's kind of all the things that you're gonna have to have. So let's kind of start. I'm going to start by creasing. If you've watched more than one of your video, my videos, you know that I kind of start by getting things out of the way. Um, so I like to crease. I'm not going to put my inside in because I'm going to stamp a leaf on it, but I can definitely go ahead and kind of get this out of the way and then we can kind of set it aside. So now I have three things. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp and punch first because that is my biggest leaf and I'm only doing one. So I use the Granny Apple Green. And then I use the Pecan Pie. It's a little darker, but I'm thinking and hoping it's just because we re-inked it. And then we're going to punch it out and just kind of set it aside. I'm just not sure. Huh. I mean, it couldn't really be any other color. Unless, okay guys, give me one second. Let's see. If it was the old olive, and then I used the granny apple on the inside of the as you see, it doesn't really matter. But if you're liking the colors that I did, which I am, well, that's super dark. But again, I know I did not stamp off on anything so. How about we just punch both and then we decide what we like once they dry a little. So we have two leaves. 
Okay, so I think before I start, I'm gonna, I can put the pecan pie up, but before I start all this stamping, I need to figure out color. So lemon lime twist is the base. That is correct. Okay, um, Anthony, I need another lemon lime twist. Go to a different station. Um, note that this one needs to be figured out. Okay. There we go. So then, what do you think the center is if you had to pick? Okay, that's Old Olive. I think that's too dark. So, I guess it's Granny. I don't know, though. I think I'm going to let the top be Granny because the Old Olive's dark. So, I'm going to go with my original thing. And I'm going to use, I'm using, let me show you before we all start to stamp, Lemon Lime Twist and then Old Olive. So, with that being said, if you like that color combination, let's go to town. So, we are going to take, um, I'm going to take my inside one and I'm just going to do one. Oh. Clearly, it is not my day. Oh, my word. I'm just, all right, let's try this again. There we go. And then I can set that aside along with this guy. Here, with the bigger guy, we're just going to go in a collage. This one might need to be reinked, but okay. Right on this that it needs to be reinked, please. So then, y'all are laughing I have sticky notes everywhere if y'all saw my craft room and just all the sticky notes I had everywhere for everything because if not I'd be staring at all these things everywhere and I'd be like what am I supposed to do with that because I will not remember for the life of me and I feel like it's even worse now so okay so as you see we just kind of collaged now I'm gonna pop this up but not yet I want to kind of position it so I can go ahead and do my saying so Okay. Yay. And I just did that in black, which I guess you guys saw, even though I didn't explain very well. So now I'm going to bring all my pieces back together and I'm going to put them together. And you know what? Oh, yay. I got pretty lucky. Make sure y'all got lucky because I didn't specify what was the inside and what was the outside. And I totally threw away the right one and used the right one. One is bigger than the other, so they are not the same size. Um, sorry about that. This is definitely one of my crazier videos. Okay. I used dimensionals on this one. And I just kind of popped it up. So there you go. I hope you guys liked it. And until next time, I hope you flourish.